Hey guys, it's Moody here, and I have an overused match against someone from our news app made by Magnitude, and the link to that is in the description. So if you want to visit that, you should, because we have lots of fun there. Maybe. Sometimes. And so I used my rain team, and the thing is, he didn't end up using a weather team, so leading off with Politoed isn't really necessary. For me, so I let off my Latios, and in this scenario, um, most lead Haxorus that I've seen were like adamant banded to have like the most amount of damage possible, and this one's scarfed, so that really caught me off guard, and I end up losing my Latios. First turn in the match. So I send in my Ferrothorn, and I figure I'm just gonna go for a Thunder Wave. I'll either hit the Haxorus if he decides to stay in for a random reason, or I'll hit whatever comes in, which happens to be a Togekiss. In this case, I was fearing the Thunder Wave and or Aura Sphere, so I figured the best possible switch in for me would be Gliscor to avoid being Thunder Waved, and then um, I figured I'm gonna go back into Politoed, fearing if any hidden power ice maybe or just air slash since my polytoad i figured could take it but um i didn't really care about the paralyze much because i'm a resto chesto polytoad however after getting air slash flinched i figured there's really no point in me staying in it's just gonna be really annoying so um i'll go back into my terrakion i know i can live one air slash from a togekiss so that does about less than half, or about half, so it's a good amount. And considering that Togekiss is paralyzed, Terrakion's gonna outspeed it, and he's gonna get the kill. Throughout this whole match, Terrakion is such a boss. I decided to use the Adamant Banded Terrakion for funsies, so he sends in Haxorus. There's no point of me staying in, and I don't really want to lose Terrakion yet, especially considering that he has a Porygon left. And I know he's locked into Dragon Claw now, so I don't think he's going to go for it again, judging by the amount of damage that did on Gly Gliscor. So I'm going to switch back into Terrakion um, this turn. So right now it's a favorable matchup for me because I can easily go for a close combat and either hit the Porygon. Um, I guess he didn't have anything else to take it. <laughs> um, so he stayed in and let Porygon die. So that turned out well for me. And he goes into Latios. So I'm fearing a Draco Meteor, so I go into my Ferrothorn, and he does go for the Draco Meteor. Um, I'm kind of certain that this Latios is choice specs, because I don't see why he'd have two Scarf Pokemon on his team, and he's not Life Orb, and I really don't think he's Expert Belt either, judging by the amount of damage that did, so I'm pretty sure he's specs. So I just went for a Thunder Wave uh, in case he wanted to just, you know, go for another Draco Meteor. Who knows? So I ended up hitting this Ferrothorn. And in this scenario, I feel so bad for him because I just keep setting up my spikes and entry hazards because, you know, I just want to get them up. And his Ferrothorn gets paralyzed three times in a row. So I get to set up my Stealth Rocks and my spikes. And all he wanted to do was set up his stealth rocks too, and I just feel bad because that just cost him three turns. However, it wasn't really that big of a deal though because um, after this whole thing, he just stays in anyway, and I I go for a power whip because I want to see like what he's going to do, and he has power whip too, so right here, this matchup is just really, uh, it's stally and and stupid and you know i was thinking you know maybe he's gonna switch this turn because power whip did not do a lot of damage so i went for another thunder wave hoping to catch another pokemon um with it but that didn't really work out so right now i kind of really have to figure out how to get around this because this whole scenario right here is not working out for me so i go into my gliscor um my thought process here is just like, I can live power whips all day long. Um, I'm not scared of it. So as long as he doesn't have leech seed, then I'm good. But he, he go, the thing is I protected and he went for another power whip. So I was hoping he really does not have leech seed and I could just swords dance and just hit him with earthquakes and you know, heal off some health. but. 
he does have the leech seed, which is stupid, so um, I can't really, I wouldn't benefit in setting up just to kill him and probably die to whatever's faster than me, so. Um, and this scenario, I'm just thinking, I need to sack something so I can bring in my Terrakion again and outspeed it and hit it with a close combat, so. He can leech seed me all he wants, I really won't care, so. He ends up, he's the leech seed protect stalling kind, so. I'm resto chesto, might as well as rest up, get rid of um, my paral paralysis, and that's fine with me. I can't really hit him for much, so like if I went for a skull, that would do nothing. So in this scenario, I decided to go for a parish song. Um, he either would have had to switch eventually, or he would have stayed in, although I don't see why anyone would. So in the end, um, I have to sack Politoed because I don't have anything that I really want to switch into a power whip and I'm okay with sacking Politoed because I already have my rain up and that's perfectly fine with me so he has his parish count fell to two I could have brought in my thunderous here and set up but I really tried to refrain from using thunderous throughout this whole match only if I really, really had to, so um, I decided to just go into my Terrakion and hit him with a close combat, so uh, that's going to take out that Ferrothorn for sure, and he goes into Infernape, so I really don't think I have a safe switch in, so I was thinking I'll stay in, I'll sack Terrakion, and then just go into my Thunderous and outspeed him. Granted, he's not Scarf, but I already know his Haxorus is Scarf, so it's silly to have two Scarf Pokemon on your team. And he won for a Swords Dance, so I got another kill. That was just unexpected to me because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to switch anyway. So here goes Latios. I figure send in my Ferrothorn, he's going to take hits very well, and... If he wants, I know he's choice, so he's either going to keep ice beaming me and I'm able to thunder wave the Latios, or he's going to switch into his Haxorus and I'm going to thunder wave a scarfed Haxorus. So in this scenario, either way, it felt like it was win-win for me and I'm just going to let my Ferrothorn die to the ice beam so I can send in my Terrakion again and just go for an X scissor and get the kill. So <laughs> Terrakion is doing so much work this match. So much work. So he takes out that Laudios. And the last thing he has left is a Haxorus. So I'll see what he locks himself into. It's probably going to be an Outrage because I don't have any steals left. And that would be the best option for him anyway. And I figure I'm just going to sack Terrakion, bring in my Gliscor, and go for Protect so that one of his Outrage turns, you know, it's basically for nothing. And either he'll get the Confusion or a third turn. But he does get the confusion, so that's good for me. I heal up some health, and I figure I'd just go for a nice fang. Maybe it'll kill, maybe it won't. In this case, it won't. However, the outcome of this match is clear now because uh, an outrage from a Haxorus is not going to kill me because I'm defensive. So um, that earthquake is going to take out the Haxorus, and that's good game. Um, sorry for using weather, although weather didn't really play much of an impact in this match. I really tried to not let it, so. Um, with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this match, and I love you, and bye, guys. Also, I'm probably in the finals of Wild Chase's Dormant, so. <laughs> Wish me luck, and with that...